Cats! It's me, Jen, and I am back. But today we're doing something fun. I didn't even start yet. <laughs> I'm back, and today we are going to be checking out this super awesome exclusive Pick Me Pop. It's super duper fluffy. I went to Toys R Us and I picked up Gigi the Exclusive Unicorn. This is a giant pick me pop. I'm not sure how much it costs in the States. It said 84 and usually our prices cost more than yours. So I don't know how much I would trust that information. Good news is it's holiday time. So almost everything everywhere is on sale and I'm pretty much guaranteeing you'll get it for much less than I paid, which is excellent for you. Not so much for me, but at the time this came to $90 and that's what I'm going with because that's what I based the video on. Oh no, I think I have to sneeze. Maybe not, okay. So, on the back of every Pick Me Pop package, it gives you a general list of what the contents will be. So, here is the Gigi the Unicorn Pick Me Pop, and be right back. Oh no, it's so big you can't see it, or me. I'm, I'm here. Hi! Here it is. I have to back way, way up. So, I took the price that I paid for that Pick Me Pop, it was $90.38, and used that information that was on the back of the package to create my very own jumbo surprise. And there's another surprise, it won't fit on screen. It's part of this, and I'll show you in a second. We're gonna open this, check it out, check the quality, see everything that's inside, and then open mine. I basically want to see if I can make something that's better for gift giving or receiving, and maybe just show that not all the time should you just pay one price for one thing. It's like buying a $10 chocolate bar versus buying 10 $1 chocolate bars. You have options, and that's what I want to show. Okay, do I, did I bring scissors? <sighs> They're all the way over there. I just realized staring around frustrated is not gonna like leviosa them to me. That wasn't even the right spell. Accio scissors! Okay, that's, <laughs> that's not gonna work either. I'll be right back. Accio scissors! Oh, oh. Wait, no, you saw my hand. Oh, they're flying to- oh. Whoa! You didn't see my hand at all. Now it is time to open our exclusive Gigi the Unicorn. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to open this. I think I started shopping for my surprise portion of this about three and a half weeks ago. So this has been building the excitement. Okay. Snip. So this is for ages five and up. There's lots of little plastic gibbers to cut off. It looks like I'm doing nothing. I'm searching for the little plastic gibber, okay? It's missing. I lost it in the fluff. Urgh. Got it. It's like a big puff ball. Back to this. Okay, so here is our surprise. <laughs> there's more stuff to undo. Surprise! I always look at myself, sorry. Okay, so here's our surprise and there's more stuff to undo off the bottom. So I'm gonna just take those off. Let's flip out together. Here we go. It's like a popple. There we go. Ooh, it's so fluffy. Oh my gosh, this would make the best hat. So this is a super pastel rainbow unicorn. It is actually really, really cute. Its tail is like coming off though. I don't know if we can see that. It looks like, I don't know if you can see it. But anyways, so there's a lot of shedding happening, which I'm not a big fan of. And hopefully once you play with it a bit, it will stop. But right now there is a lot of shedding. It's got little almond up and down shaped eyes. I feel like this would make a really good hat. Let me try this on. Okay, here we go. How do I look? Just chilling, right? I feel like I'm at Lester's Possum Park from Goofy Movie, my favorite ever Disney movie, just saying. If you haven't watched the Goofy Movie, you are missing out and then you're like, oh, my life has been missing this. But anyways, yeah, if you put this on, it totally looks like you're at Lester's Possum Park, but for unicorns. Pawn, now my hair is all kinds of crazy. All right, so this was our giant reversible Gigi plush. It's actually really, really cute and super soft. And the best part is you can flip it back inside out. Oh, it's so soft. Boom, a unicorn that doubles as a hat. That's a win. Oh, Oh, I didn't put a hat in my surprise. Okay, where's there? I need a hair tie because my unicorn I'm messing with my do. Now I look a little balder. Next we have this. This is what was inside of our unicorn. It looks like a grenade. Um, they probably could have come up with a better thing. It's weird. Anywho, this was massive. We're not really massive, but pretty big and large. And everything else is gonna fit inside this container. So just remember that price point I was talking about. Let's open it up right over there. We got, oh, that smells so good. It smells like a candle. <laughs> it smells like a tropical smoothie. So like pineapple and mango stuff. So this is our second reversible plush. Right now it's a purple, yellow, and pink pastel color. Okay. Uh, it's got a super alfalfa. <laughs> it's got a super alfalfa hairdo going on. I don't know if it's supposed to have a dirt face like mm, or if it's completely just wrong. It's got a little gold horn and white hair. Hopefully we find a name on like a chart or something but for now I'm gonna call it alfalfa because uh, it reminds me of alfalfa. If you don't know who alfalfa is you need to watch the little rascals. There you go. Now we've got Gigi and alfalfa. We'll call her Alfie for short. Nothing else in this side once we open our jumbo bag here. I say that very very generously. It's just a bit bigger than my hand. We're just gonna open it with scissors because tear strips are my enemy. All right, let's count them. 
one, two, three, four, five, and six with number one. And we have some tattoos. There are little unicorn pick me pop fluff balls in hearts with rainbow backgrounds. Next up, we have nail stickers. Hopefully this is clear for you guys. So you get rainbow unicorns and fluffy unicorns, pineapples, mangoes. Basically, they're keeping with this tropical theme. That's what's making me think that I must have been right about the scent. You get a few more smaller stickers. And then we have our little list here. Um, that list did not include our Gigi the Unicorn at all, not even on the back. That doesn't help us. I want to know what this one's name is. I thought for sure that it would be included in there. Uh, that's useful. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. So we have a pink, blue, and purple set of beaded cords. And you attach it, and they create bracelets for you. And we also get three holographic tags. It's basically a jumping for joy fluffy unicorn. And on the back it says, you're so unreal. This one says, have a magical day. So it's like raining pineapples. This one says, believe in yourself. And it's got a happy unicorn and like raining fruit. So these can all go onto these really cute chains. You can give these to your besties. Could you imagine trying to do your homework? You're sitting in school and it's scratching the rest of the desk. We have three bags left. And the bags all smell like our Elfie there. We get a super teeny cute notebook and we get a little blue gel pen and it's got the unicorns as well. Next up we get, oh the picture is twisted. That's not helpful. Okay, we get these clips. <laughs> Come on, clip on you. Really tiny. Pink fluffy unicorn. And we have a blue fluffy unicorn. Okay, and since I already have you zoomed in, I might as well just open this last one. And then we get to open mine. Okay, so the last thing is a charm. You can hang this off a keychain or your backpack. I would say a necklace, but I mean, it's a really big statement piece if you do that. Half of it is see-through and the other half has a unicorn on it with some raining pineapples. She's pretty cute. There's a little cone here. There you go. So those were all of our surprises. Back to full size Jen. So we'll do the quick little recap. That was everything that came inside of Gigi. Still have no clue what this one's name is though. So if you do know, let me know in the comment section down below. And it just occurred to me that we can reuse this. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. We can turn this unicorn back into a puff. Go inside. There we go. And then put everything back inside her. Put it on here and boom, you have a stand. So that's what we'll do. There's our cotton candy ready to sit on a shelf. That part is actually pretty cool. Just make sure if you leave this on a shelf for a while that you dust it off before you flip it inside out because it's going to collect dust. I'm ready to show you everything that comes inside of my giant surprise. As you could tell, I've moved way, way back because it's huge. I did not buy all pick me pop items to fill this. I tried to replicate it with other items so that I can see how much I could buy for the same price. If we only did Pygmy Pop, it would add up really quickly and then there was no point in the challenge. Everything that I got is inside of this hot cocoa cup, excluding this giant pup, of course, because it is just so huge. Plus, it's pretty cute just holding onto a giant cup of hot cocoa. I'm gonna put down this giant package and we'll take a look at our dog first. So I kept all of my receipts just in case you do not believe me, but I promise you everything that I purchased actually cost in total less than purchasing at the full price before any sales started when I purchased it. So recap, this came to $90.30 and mine came to ninety dollars and three cents so I saved fifty five cents no thirty five I saved thirty five cents mine cost thirty five cents less in the end math is not my thing anywho so here is our first item I paid twenty dollars for I think it was on sale at Toys R Us it's a giant brown puppy it's got a fake silk bow in its hair and its clothes or the jacket is also fake silk so it's blue purple and it's got black and white striped top and bottom collar or I guess that's not a collar whatever and it's got Barbie on the back it's a really nice clear image too and it says happy is friends. She's lying there with a chihuahua and a kitty. It's actually really, really cute. Does the puppy have a name? No, it doesn't. So on the front, you can see that there is embroidered little addition there, some fake buttons, and it's filled very, very nice. It's got eyes like a beanie boo, so they look really nice and kind of 3D. These ones are blue with sparkle. It's got some felt eyelashes and a little plastic nose. It's actually really, really soft and squishy. So for 20 bucks, that is pretty awesome and a win, I'd say. We're just gonna take off the card board and open up our top. I'm gonna put it down here so we can reach. It smells so good in here by the way. I don't even remember why. There's something scented obviously. So here is our first surprise. Here we go. Oh, this smells so good. This is a Furzert. It's a Furzert large plush. This was $20 at Toys R Us. It's got super pink fuzzy hair. I think this one is scented in like a strawberry. It looks like some kind of little dessert. It's got pink hair. It's got blue, white, and green sprinkles. It's got cute little ears. And it's a really light, very pale brown color. And it looks like it's super happy. There's no smile, just like a mm, minus the smile face. It's also got a long pink tail. So it's more of a firm plush. 
Like you could sleep on it and it's comfy, but it's gonna take a while before it gets super duper squishy. Next surprise is an LOL surprise accessory set. Let's open it. There you go, focus. So this is a necklace and a bracelet set. It's beaded with pink, purple, bright pink, and white and clear beads. It's got a stretchy cord, and it comes with a picture on the front three of our LOL friends. And it's actually really cute, and it's super stretchy. Let's take one off and check it out. Should I put it on? I mean, I could, if you insist. Ow! Okay, on me, it's more like a choker. Now I need my bracelet. I gotta be fancy-like. Awesome. Next up, we have a Num Noms Schmush Cake. Schmush Cake? No, there's no H in there. Smush Cake. Oh, it's so This is for ages three and up. How much was this one? This Smush Cake was $7.47. Get out of the package, let's smell it. Oh, that smells so good. It comes in this little plastic dish here. It's pink, let's take it out. Got a little plastic cover to protect it. It's so cute. What is that? This is Candy Puff. So it's half pink and half blue. It's kind of like cotton candy. See, keeping with the theme here, accidentally. Got two little ears dollop of cream on top and it seems to be dripping over with some pink sprinkles. It even has like a little piggy tail. So I'm not sure what animal that's supposed to be because it's got a curly tail, but it smells really good. Let's see how long it takes to smush. Well, you can't have a surprise without a squishy, right? It's a pretty decent squish. Way to go, num noms. Oh, it smells so good. It's got a happy little smile. It's got a little tongue sticking out too. And its eyes are so cute. Just perfectly little round there. That didn't make sense. Perfectly round there with two little eyelashes. Enough just to be perfectly cute. I like this one a lot actually. And it smells really good. So I think it tells you what the scent is too. This one is cotton candy. That makes sense because it looks like cotton candy. Next up, we have the equivalent to their stationery set. So for $2, I picked up a unicorn book, a ruler, two pens. We've got a sharpener, two glittery pencils, and a unicorn eraser. I'm not gonna open it because it's kind of pointless but stare at its beauty. Is it showing it for you? It's a pretty decent set for $2. Next up for $4, I actually got this at Dollarama, uh, but I actually have seen this before at Shoppers Drug Mart and at Walmart, so that's actually a really great find and price if you think about it. So this is a Sweet Scent Sparkle Nails Kit, and it contains two bottles of scented nail polish, some micro beads to decorate your nails, top coat, and 65 mini nail stickers. And the nail polish actually looks like little ice cream cones, so it's really, really cute. Cute. Four bucks. Then, just in case that wasn't enough of a stationary set, I picked this one up for $1.25 because it was so cute. So it looks like a lollipop, but that's a notebook and that is a pen. And it's a click pen. Isn't that adorable? That was $1.25. And, of course, the Pick Me Pop had stickers, so we needed stickers too. Ooh, hold on. Too much tissue. Take that off. <laughs> Too much tissue paper. So for a dollar, how many stickers came on that? I would have known had I not ripped it. I oh, don't know. A lot. Like a lot, a lot. We got a lot of cute animal stickers. So we got koalas, monkeys, pigs, tigers, giraffes, seals, kitties, bears, llamas, little skunks, elephants, little horses. They're actually so cute. There's so, so many of them. Now we have another thing to open. How cute is this? These are adorable. I wonder if it says its name inside. Oh, it does have a name. So this is Twist Bunny, and it's a small plush from Enchantimals. I was really impressed with the stitching in the eyes. Like, it's incredibly good. And the little muzzle there, it's so cute. So there is some fluff coming off of it, but just like the Pick Me Pops, until you play with them a bit, that is going to happen because you have to get rid of the strays. It's got the tiniest little arms and a little cotton tail. That was $9.99 at Toys R Us. Still going. Next up for $1.50, I bought Centos. These are actually quite amazing. These ones are holiday scented, but they do have other ones. These were picked up at the dollar store. We have apple pie, gingerbread, gumdrops, Christmas pudding, sugar cookies, plums, peppermint, and hot chocolate scented markers. And they actually do smell good, not gonna lie. I bought these again on purpose because I bought them for the kids and they loved them. And everybody likes to doodle, so why not do it on the cheap and have it smell good too? And Centos is an actual brand, so it's not like it's not a quality item. I always feel like I have to justify things from the dollar store. If you wanna save money, it's your choice whether or not you wanna keep buying things there, but sometimes the dollar stores do have really good stuff at a discounted price. And we are actually on to our last package. And it's another Enchantimal. So obviously, once again, this was $10, but look how cute this skunk is. In fact, since it's a skunk, it's so stinking cute. Once again, I just couldn't say no. Look at the cute little eyes. Like, those stitches are perfect. What's its name? This is Caper Skunk. It's super cute. I feel like if this one had a big version, I would totally buy it, because I think it's adorable. Skunks in real life, not so much. Skunk in this form, super cute. Super fluffy, look at that bushy tail. <laughs> Get rid of some of the extra fluff, and you'll have an adorable skunk on your hands. Look at the little paws. Oh, Oh my gosh. He's got a little flower in its hair too. I really like the look of the Enchantables products. Yes. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and do a recap of everything that's here from my surprise container. 
I'm back over here now. Oh, dropping stuff. On the table before you, you see everything that I opened today. That includes everything that came in my surprise cup that I made, as well as everything that came in the Pick Me Pop. Well, the puppy is kind of behind me though, because it's really huge and I keep dropping this skunk. Come on, skunky, stay up. Ugh. <laughs> pretty big. Awesome, right? So as a recap, I ended up with one, two, three, four plushes, and the dog is massive. I also got a super scented smush cake from Num Nom, so it's a squishy. I got a lot of stickers, an entire stationery set with notebook, ruler, eraser, sharpener, pencils, pens, the works, a necklace, and a bracelet from LOL, a whole nail kit with scented nail polish, and it's actually cute because it looks like ice creams. I got the scented markers, and I also got a really adorable notebook and pen that looked like a lollipop. And I got to spend some time being creative making a case. Awesome. And that cost $90 and three cents. The Pick Me Pop came with the reversible big plush. And that's the only thing I couldn't replicate because I don't like flip zoos very much and I couldn't find the popple that I wanted. So there you go. So it had the big plush and the little one without a name and kind of bad stitching on the muzzle, which kind of bummed me out. It came with tattoos, stickers, nail stickers, three beaded bracelets with big holographic charms, a clear keychain, but no keychain. They probably could have given us that. That would have been great. Two clips and a tiny notebook and a tiny pen. And then of course that checklist that didn't actually give us the name of our unicorn. Nothing overly wrong with this set, just the stitching on the small one. So it's not a matter of anything being wrong with it. I just want to know, would you rather at this point spend $90.38 on one set with two plushes and a bunch of stickers that are really going to go away once you use them, or spend $90.03 on all of this? Or not even necessarily mine, but the thrill of the hunt. There's absolutely no shame in finding things on sale because you just have more money left to buy more things. This awesome puppy was $40. I got it on sale for 20. Does not change the quality of the dog at all. Just saves me 20 bucks to spend on something else. Yes, sell five, Jen. So basically, don't always just go with the brand or what's popular because everybody else does. Sometimes it's actually more fun and you end up getting more stuff by hunting around. If you know somebody who absolutely loves my videos or pick me pops, actually, or Barbie dogs, or Barbie, or num noms, or enchantimals, or fur shirts, or unicorns, or stickers, or nail polish, or scented things, then share this video with them. And if you enjoyed this video yourself, please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know down below what your favorite thing is that I opened today. Is it from the pick me pop set or is it from the Bee Butts Hot Cocoa? And let me know if you know the name of this unicorn because it's really bothering me. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. That was weird. Everything about that was weird. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Down, doggy.